Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. How are you guys doing today? Um, it is very good to see you guys. Happy Saturday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the screen promo. Hopefully everybody's weekend league is going just the right. That's always what I'm hoping for you guys that you guys are playing okay. Um, and some of you guys will probably listen to this video while you play weekend league or while you watch the football. So enjoy your Saturdays, guys. Have a good, good Saturday. Um, we're here to talk a lot about FIFA today and we got a lot of drama that happened overnight with my club, and I, 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 I'm really taking this pride of this year just being really transparent with you guys and telling you guys exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing certain things, and the reasoning behind my buys and things like that. So if you enjoyed the video today, just drop a thumbs up. So I sold Sadorf last night, and the reason why I sold Sadorf, I'll tell you guys right now, and we'll explain it because it's a complicated process, but I think it'll make sense to you guys. So Sadorf last night had an hour of 800K, so he was 800 for about an hour. So I bought mine at 710. Now he's not that good. I do need him to finish weekend league, but I was able to make some money on him and I saw other prices that were low. And at the time I only had like 500K. Now, if you watched my upload yesterday, I bought some golds at 1 p.m. or like 2 p.m. I did sell them after. We were able to get out of those golds really nicely. Some of them I think are a little bit actually down now, but we were able to get out of them when people still were buying back for weekend league. We got out of Dybala at like 120. He's like 115 now. So they're down a little bit, but here is the thing, and I'm being transparent with you guys. What I ended up doing was I actually bought, I actually bought guys a lot of golds because they were really low. So I bought about 20 Lucas Hernandez at 47.5k, which is really low. His price before 1 p.m. yesterday was 65k. So it's about, it's really, really down. I bought Pepe's at 41 to 42k, and Pepe was 55k before 1 p.m. yesterday. And then I bought Zaha's at 20K. So I, I'm in a tough situation at the moment. And here's why it's a tough situation. Because a lot of you guys would be like, Nick, you know what? Like, aren't you going to make money? Like, aren't they rebounding? Here is the problem. It is on Saturday before 1 p.m. And on Saturdays, the market has been lowest every single week. Like, every single week, Saturday's the low day. And the reason for that is that Saturdays we get bundles, right? We get these bundle SPCs that EA brings out. Where basically you get like five packs for 20 to 25K. So I need to like... Think about what I'm doing. Like, am I going to hold? Because Lucas Hernandez is 51K. Okay, no, he's a little bit more. So at this rate, I make like two and a half, maybe 3K per card, but not even, right? He's 51.5K at the moment. So I'm not really sure what to do at the moment because he's 52K. And I know today, because we got so much content yesterday, it's possible that EA doesn't drop another bundle today. But if they do, I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble because these cards are going to die. Like, they are going to die. Um, the golds today will literally go into a coffin and scream for help. Because when we get that much gold supply, it's just going to kill the market. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to risk it today for 1 p.m. I'm just not sure. It would be, I think Hernandez would go down to like 44, 45. It would be tough, man. I would take a little bit of a loss. But it's also this hard thing because I, I at the moment, I'm not making really a lot of coins. So, I want to be transparent with you guys and show you guys that like, look, not everything works. And a lot of stuff I try is really ballsy. For example... Selling an icon on my team and putting 1.5 million to golds overnight to try to make coins is ballsy, but it's October, right? And it's something that I wanted to take the risk on and try out. So yeah, it's not looking good, boys. I'm not making coins at the moment on that Hernandez. And we can take a look at Pepe because, so we bought Hernandez at 47.5 and the tax at 50K is 2.5K. So you guys can see I'm making literally one to 2K a car, which is BS. That's pennies. Um, Pepe is a guy that before 1 p.m. yesterday was 55K. So then he went down to 44 at the lowest. Then he rebounded to 49. So I got in at 43 last night. But he's he's 42 right now, man. And it, honestly, this is such a popular card. So this one shocks me. I can't believe he's still 43. But he's 43.5K at the moment, man. Um, yeah, he's 43.5K. So here's the, here's the thing that I'm risking today. If there's no bundle today, these guys are going to rise because there's no supply. But the thing we got to think about is that... I'm still sick, bro. It sucks. If there is a bundle today... I am going to be screwed. This Pepe is going into the 30s. And then obviously Zaha. Well, Zaha is a rip. Zaha is going to be like, I bought a, only like five Zahas at 20, but that's a bad one. Zaha is 21 right now. So honestly, guys, I've never been so conflicted um, as to what to do. Uh, I also bought Koulibaly at 38, 36. So he's like 40, 41. So man, it's, it's tough to know what to do. I haven't really decided yet exactly what I'm going to end up going and doing. I just don't know. I don't know what's the right move. I usually do know what the right move is. But right now, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's a really, really, it's really, really hard to know 
what's the right move in this scenario it is man i'm telling you guys it's not easy to always know the safe thing the the inner safe me would go ahead and sell at the moment but you guys know me i'm a little bit ballsy and yeah i'm an idiot so i think what i may end up doing is i may hold i think i may hold until like 1 p.m is what i think i might do and i need to check what that ball is with the center mid i may hold till 1 p.m and if there is a bundle i'm gonna quickly list up all my stuff because if there is a bundle i'm screwed i think that that is kind of what i'm what i'm contemplating doing um but man guys it's it's uh <laughs> it's a risky move man so that's the one that's the one of the things i wanted to talk about today on the market and you guys will obviously i'll let you guys know what i end up doing we're gonna have to take the we're gonna have to take like a minimal minimal win on this Dybala, like 2k maybe 117 on this them up just as a hunter and a, and a center mid so we'll make some coins there but the market is low man and i'll tell you guys the market every saturday has been pretty much lowest so if we do get a bundle today this is like my biggest thing you guys need to take a look at team of the week today if we get a bundle team of the week is already really really low but you're gonna have some cards get absolutely shattered from this team of the week if we get a bundle harry kane's a 120 right now if we get a SPC like the Born Legends SPC, this guy's going down to 100. Especially with the way Spurs are playing, this guy's going to 80k. So that's one you could look at. Then you've got other players. Gundawan is like a huge one for me. I think Gundawan is going to be very similar to Adama Traore. Last week on Saturday, Adama Traore went down to 22k when we got pack supply. Literally within a day, he went up to 30k. So this is not team of the week investing. You can actually pick up these cards for very, very cheap prices. And just sell them for way more the following day. So Gunnar wants 38 right now. He may drop down to 29 to 30. If that happens, you're going. Pjanic is 31. Pjanic may literally hit 20 to 25. If that happens, that's too cheap. Right? So keep an eye on these guys. This guy may literally go to discard. He's 13K right now. He might go to 10. We've got Kaylor Navas at the moment at 36K. I could honestly see Navas going, honestly, you guys, probably to like, I could see him going to like 30. Like 29, 28, 30. That could happen. And then... I think if you have a little bit more of a budget, you guys could look at why not them if that's something like somebody you're interested in. Um, and then again, I talked about Schmeichel, man, but Schmeichel's not a bad. Schmeichel's 20K right now. I mean, this is an EPL goalkeeper for 20,000 coins. So that's another guy that you guys um, you guys could keep your eyes on if you really wanted to. I don't I don't know. I don't know how many coins you guys have. But yeah, man, overall, the market depends today on 1 p.m. I'll tell you guys that much. The market depends today on the 1 p.m. drop. Um, if we don't get crazy bundles, if we don't get crazy stuff, the market should start to progress upwards. If you guys look at trends, let me give you guys an example of anything from last team of the week, right? Like, let's go into Footpin, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because a lot of you guys may sit there and be like, Nick, what are you talking about, man, with the market, right? Um, I'll show you guys, like, Simeto, for example. Like, pretty meta player. So, look at last Saturday, right? 83K. Lowest day was on Saturday, right? After that, market goes up. Um, I'm going to show you guys Lucas Hernandez, right? Because this is a goal card that's very in demand. That's why I bought him, actually, today. Um, so... Here we go. Uh, last Saturday. So this here, here's what I'm going to tell you. This graph is not really accurate. And here's why it's not accurate. Because on Saturday, he went way lower than 64. This is just the average price of what he was throughout the day. So he was probably like 55 to 60. And then he's chilling at 60. But guys, I'm telling you, man, that Saturday is lethal. So we'll have to see if EA drops another SBC today. I don't, I don't know the likelihood that they will. Um, I really don't. I don't know if they're going to do it or not. But Saturday's really, whatever you see on Footpin or whatever you guys are looking at, I'm telling you guys right now, Saturdays are always really low. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm worried that we will get one. I, I don't know because, guys, we've gotten bundles. We've gotten bundles without promos. So I'm not sure because we're in a promo right now if we're going to get a bundle. As you guys can see, I'm extremely conflicted. I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, as for the Scream cards, this can be something to talk about. So the Scream cards may go really low today if we do get a bundle. That's also another thing I wanted to talk about. A lot of these cards are very in demand. Like a lot of people want to use these cards. Trust me. I tried out this Bernard yesterday on my second channel. He's a god. Um, so these cards are all really in demand. And you might see a few of these cards today like Romagnoli, Bernard. Um, I'm trying to think of good pickups for you guys. Maybe like Carval Carvalho, Sabitzer. Like these guys could drop a lot at 1 p.m. today. If we do end up getting a bundle, you guys may see... A lot of these cards taking a huge hit today on the market. So that could be something that you guys are, are looking after, right? Because these are really in-demand cards. At the moment, these are all cards that people really, really are like looking for um, in their teams and, and to try out. So keep that in mind. And also keep in mind, we officially know that these cards are in packs until next Friday and next Friday only. 
when next Friday comes out, they're bringing out a new batch of these cards. So these cards are going to go out of packs next Friday. So if we want to invest in these cards, I'm probably going to wait until later in the week, like Wednesday, Thursday, see what the prices are doing at that point in the week, because I think it's a little early to start buying these cards. However, if you look at Team of the Week, the best time to buy Team of the Week has always been Saturday midweek. So we'll have to see on Monday or Tuesday if we get any crazy pack supply on Monday or Tuesday. That would be the, the telling sign of, hey, let's go ahead and buy these cards. That would be a big deal for these cards on the market. So let's keep a watch on it. I'll let you guys know and keep you guys updated with what I end up doing today. I just like to share with you guys Road to Glory stuff and stuff that I'm doing. And then in, in terms of team upgrades, I bought Sadorf. I don't love him. I think I know who I'm going to get for the first qualifier, and I'll show you guys in one second. We got Ter Stegen and Varane, so we're trying those guys out. We're going to try to finish the weekend league today. This is the guy that I'm going to go with for, for the qualifiers. I'm getting Zidane Zidane for uh, my, my other center defensive mid. It has to be this guy, Baby Zidane. He's 2.5 mil. We're going for this guy. It's going to be him. I already know 100%, so we decided, and we're going for it. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. I really appreciate you guys, man. You guys are the best. Thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video. Um, yeah, man, best of luck with the weekend league, and have a good weekend, dude. See you guys soon.